Hey guys, my name is Christy and this is my crafty country. In today's video, I'm going to be making a wreath for my husband's aunt. Um, she just wanted something small for just to hang on her door for Christmas. So I'm going to try to redo this gnome and then put him on a decorated up greenery wreath. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is use my scraping tool and pry up the gift and the nose off the gnome. That way I can just redo him and then I'll put those back on at the end. So I sanded it down where the glue was, where I popped those things off. And then I got myself a piece of cardstock paper and I had some scrap pieces here and they fit just perfect. So I'm using the red plaid and then I will trace out the outline of his hat and cut that out so I can glue it and Mod Podge it on. Next, I'm going to want to do something with his beard. So I decided to get one of the dust mop pads from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut this out to the right shape to where I can turn it into my gnome beard. So I just kind of do a rough trace around the on the back side and go to cutting it out. Just so you know, when you go to cut these, this stuff will go everywhere. So be prepared. I had to have my little dust buster thing there but it turns out really cute. So I traced it out and cut it and then just hot glued it onto the face. Here I'm going to paint his feet red because where I'd sanded off the glitter and everything, I had accidentally sanded the, some of the green off of his feet. So you should probably, you should do this before. I just didn't realize that it had sanded off the color. So I didn't want to get it on the beard. So I'm trying to be extra careful, but FYI, do that before you attach the dust mop pad. So I got him painted. I had to put like two or three coats and that was the Crimson Waverly chalk paint. And then now I am using a Sharpie and outlining the ribbon on the present. And then I will use black chalk paint around the edges of the gnome, the gift, and the nose. So I just like to put the paint along the sides. That way it kind of gets rid of the pressed wood look and gives it some definition. Once everything is painted and dried, I'm just going to use hot glue and put those back on. And with this, I just put hot glue all over the back of the gift and put it straight on the dust mop pad, or now it is the beard. So 
With the nose, I did glue that to the actual hat because I figured it could be up a little bit and it turned out looking just fine, but I felt better than having it on the hat rather than on the beard. For the ball at the top of the hat, I had a white, like snowball looking ornament that I believe I got from Dollar Tree. It could have been Walmart. I got it last year, so it was just in my stash and I thought it'd be perfect. So I just used some hot glue. After I used my side cuts and pinched off the hanger part to kind of round it off, then I just hot glued it to the top of the hat. The wreath I'm going to be attaching this to was a Dollar Tree wreath that I had used like two of them, put them together, and then used some of the greenery stems to fill it out. And I did run one of the greenery stems across the middle, that way I would have something to attach the gnome to, to be, have it more secure. So I just hot glued him to that stem, and then proceeded to decorate around him. To decorate around the gnome, I used some of the holly leaves, um, it was a stem that I got from Dollar Tree and then these glitter pine cones that I got from Walmart at last year after they went on sale. So all together this wreath probably didn't cost more than five dollars and it was super easy to do if you just have all the stuff you need. There's not a whole lot of work to it. This is one anyone can do. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Stay tuned for more wreaths and Christmas decorations coming up. And if you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys on the next one.